I, I just want to say we're so passionate about classic movies. We're going to expand the conversation. You can see the passion that's in this room. It's thrilling to the core. Put a new spin on some vintage films. It's classic movies and more. Hey everybody, welcome to Classic Movies and More. We're here with Tom Meyer. Nice uh, to see you, my good friend. Good to see you. Thank you for uh, in. We're here in Fort Lee, the birthplace of uh, motion pictures. That's right. Give everybody a little uh, history about the museum, Fort Lee. All right, well, we'll start with what you're saying because somebody says Fort Lee, birthplace of motion picture industry. <laughs> they know Fort Lee's Bridgegate uh, and other things, but Fort Lee actually, it's, it's, it, when you realize, and most people, when they think about it, they do realize it, that's Thomas Edison a few short miles away discovered and developed the American film industry. Uh, not in Menlo Park, although he was the wizard of Menlo Park. This was in his other laboratory after that in West Orange, which is obviously is still there. So when that's 1893, so by the mid-1900s with the subway system in, in, in New York being developed, or developed already, uh, and the industry basically on East 14th Street at that point, uh, they sent crews up to uh, 125th Street uh, in New York. They crossed the ferry. They got to Edgewater, New Jersey, and when they crossed, uh, pretty much, uh, they had a trolley, which would take them up Fort Lee and Main Street, which is a very bucolic uh, Main Street USA, could have been any Main Street in America. The cliffs were nearby, which is, uh, lends itself for action adventure. And a northern section of town, known as Coysville, was uh, very sparsely populated, a lot of meadows, open fields, great for westerns. So they started shooting there, and by uh, 1910, the first studio cropped up, and then one after another after another, until it became what Richard Kozarski, um, uh, Rutgers professor and a great film historian calls it the first American film town. So, um, so that's our claim to fame. Uh, this was the first home to Universal Studios, the first home to uh, Fox Studios. Uh, Paramount has some roots here in terms of art craft. The Selznick started here. Sam Goldwyn next year in 2016 will be the centennial of him starting in Fort Lee. The first two years of his studio were in Fort Lee. Uh, the Skanks, Nick and Joe Skank, uh, who were business partners with Mar Marcus Lowe. They had a amusement park here, Palisades Amusement Park, from 1915, uh, 1910 to 1935. And they got into the movie industry uh, with Arbuckle and Keaton back here and then formed MGM. So it's an interesting history uh, and a very diverse history. People see Portly today as very diverse, which is a good thing. Then it was diverse. We had women filmmakers like Alice Key. We had African-American filmmakers like Oscar Michelle. So that's, uh, in, in about two minutes, that's a short uh, history of the film industry.